Well, there's really no institution in American life that had higher trust than health care and now has lower trust after a couple of years of COVID. The entire sector has been gravely discredited for obvious reasons if you've lived here since 2020. But what's interesting is that very few people who work in the healthcare sector seem to understand this, and certainly no one has apologized. We bring you tonight one notable exception. Kevin Bass is a medical researcher. We don't know what his politics are. He doesn't seem like a right winger or anything at all. But he just wrote one of the remarkable pieces we've seen this year in Newsweek admitting that his entire business got it wrong. It's time for the scientific community to admit we were wrong about COVID and it cost lives. God knows what the effect of that level of honesty will be on his career, but in the meantime, we're happy to have him join us now. Kevin Bass. Thank you for coming on and thank you for writing this piece, which I, I want to recommend to everyone. Totally non-political. Again, I don't even know what your politics are. I assume you're liberal, but you're honest in this piece. Why were you moved to write this? Well, for many of the reasons that you discussed, that I realized that we have lost trust in this country as a healthcare industry from the, the ordinary person. Uh, anybody who knows, anybody who's watching the media, anybody who is on social media and is talking to ordinary people realizes just how angry so many ordinary people are. And I felt that if I wrote a piece like this apologizing for you know, I didn't set policy, but I certainly supported it. And every single day, I certainly patted all my friends on the back for supporting it and for, for, for thinking the right kinds of thoughts. I thought if I apologized, then at least I was doing my part uh, to, to, to make things better. And as we know, change starts one person at a time. So that's why I wrote the piece. Amen. It's such an honorable and difficult thing to do. I was so very impressed by your piece for exactly that reason. If we're going to say change starts one person at a time. The first thing we should all do is apologize for what we've done wrong, but no one ever does. Did you, and again, we don't have time to go through all the different things, but you, you basically hit everything from masks to vaccines to the lockdowns. Are you worried, since you're a younger man still in school, are you worried about the effect of this piece on your career? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm saying something that's not going to be very popular. A lot of people don't understand this point of view. Uh, when you talk to especially a lot of older individuals, including some people I admire greatly for all sorts of other different reasons, including great scientists, they yes. often um, don't understand what I'm doing. And so, uh, but, you know, some of the younger generation does. And um, there are some, um, there are many people within the healthcare industry who do understand. So, I think if I just speak the truth, which is what I'm trying to do, just speak the truth, and, and I do so with a pure heart, that's, that's what I'm here to do. I wonder why this hasn't occurred, and, and again, for the third time, bless you for doing it, but I wonder why it hasn't occurred to, to senior people in this business, maybe people who ran, I don't know, our, our medical agencies, um, to do the same. I mean, that would, just, that would do a lot for the country, don't you think? I think it would do, um, it is a necessary thing for, to happen for this country, for us to have a reckoning about this particular issue so that we can restore trust. People will remember this for the rest of their lives. I think yes. the reason that, these, that the people who are in charge of these institutions don't do such a thing is because they're surrounded by a bunch of people who all think very similar to them. They're not really being exposed to ordinary people on a regular basis. They're in an echo chamber. They're patting each other on the back all the time. And for that reason, uh, they can't see anything but their own perspective. And in fact, it's been politicized. So everybody with the other perspective is in the other political party. So then you have the whole other dimension where, where actually alternative views get demonized. So it's, um, yeah. they're entrenched uh, and, and, and there's a lot of polarization. So I think that's the reason it's gonna take a long time. Can't come too soon. Uh, and yours is the first step of this piece. Kevin Bass, thank you so much. Thank you.